In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace this front brake rotor backing plate on this Volkswagen Beetle. Let's get into it. In the trunk, you're going to go find this panel and just twist these and unlock them. And we can slide this forward and slide it up. You want to locate your wheel lock key right here. For the center cap, we're going to use this hook and then grab the screwdriver. This is a two-sided screwdriver, so you want it on the straight side. You should have a little center cap here that you need to take off. You want to use the straight blade screwdriver, just get underneath there, pop that off. This vehicle does not have that. Then take your hook and then find this hole right here. And then just pull, pull the cap right off. It's just held on by those positions. Now you can access the lug nuts. Use the wheel lock key, find the wheel lock. Take that one off with a 17 millimeter socket. Then using the same 17 millimeter, we're gonna take off the lug bolts. Before I take the last one off, I'm just gonna support the wheel from falling. Take that off and pull the wheel off. I disconnect this connector. This should just be on the driver's side. This is for the brake pad sensor. It's a little tab. And you just slide that off. And that disconnects. This one's actually completely disconnected. Set that aside. Now you want to pop these caps off. Just use a straight blade screwdriver. Take those off. Now using a seven millimeter hex key or socket, you want to take these two bolts out. And grab the caliper, and just rock it back and forth. And you want to take a brake caliper hanger, and we can hang the caliper up. We're going to remove that screw. I'm going to use an impact driver. And just hammer on this. Put a little pressure, twisting it to the left, and then you tap it. Once it loosens up, you can unscrew it. pop the rotor off, you can just hit in these locations and it slides right off. There's three bolts here, you want to take those out, use a eight millimeter socket. Just going to tap those on. This one's a little rusty. And then take those out. And the last one. And take the shield off. Now we'll just line this up. Take the bolts. Get those started.
and tighten these down. Just snug. And snug them down. I'm going to put a thin coat of anti seize on the hub. Take the rotor, slide it over the hub. Line up this hole with the threaded hole. And we have the screw, get that started. And with a Phillips head screwdriver, we'll tighten that down just snug. Slide the caliper over the rotor. On the bottom, you're going to have the caliper go over this piece right here. And then it just pushes on the top. Now get the caliper slide bolt started. You might have to wiggle the caliper a little bit. Now torque these to 21 foot-pounds. Now you can put the caps on, line those up. Good, perfect. Now we're gonna pump the brake pedal, just nice and slow. There's gonna be an air gap between the brake caliper piston and the brake pads, so you don't wanna, you wanna get rid of that air gap. About five or six times should be good. Then check the master cylinder reservoir. You can give the bottle a little shake, see where the line is. You wanna adjust accordingly. Now put the wheel on. Line it up, put the bolts in, And the wheel lock key with the wheel lock. Just tighten those down.
Now we're going to torque the lug bolts to 89 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Just go around, double check. Take the key off. With the center cap, line it up. Push it on. And then if you have that little cap, you want to put that little cap on. Now you want to put the tools back. And close it up. Lock it down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.